I live in the city of my dreams. Shenzhen is modern, big, green, clean. What else could I ask for? Right, of course. The city is also exceptionally modern. Sometimes I feel like we're living ahead of our time. It's like a science fiction movie with so many innovations you won't even believe. Artificial intelligence, facial recognition, contactless payments, QR codes, and robots. Yes, robots. This is all part of the daily life in Shenzhen. Hello. Here in Shenzhen nowadays we see robots are part of the daily life. We have robots who clean restaurants, who clean airports, serve food, we made ice cream, selling machines, so we have robots basically everywhere. We are right now in SeaWorld, uh, Sheko, one of the most iconic places in Shenzhen. What about the experience of having a nice cream prepared by a robot? Well, here in Shenzhen, we have behind me a robot that can actually make an ice cream for you. There's no people operating it, it's just a robot by itself. So what we're going to do right now is simply go and purchase an ice cream. You just simply choose what you want. We chat pay. We will see how it's going to be prepared. Oh my god, look at this, how lovely it is. So it's supposed to open the window at some point. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> this is an ice cream 100% prepared by a robot. How cool is that? vending machine that will go all around this park. This is called OCT Harbor. You touch, you take in front of the machine, it will stop by itself. So you can just go ahead and purchase a drink. Apparently it only has some drinks in here, so all you have to do is simply choose the drink you want to have. So I want to have some water. Same system. I'm just gonna use the either the Alipay or the Witcher Pay just to purchase a drink. So I wanna pay by WeChat. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, you have your water. The machine has some moving sensors in the corner and on the top, so when you're approaching to the machine, it will stop by itself, so it will not kill anybody. This little machine is supposed to be moving and I've been waiting here for like 30 minutes and it's not moving anywhere, it's still stuck there. I've been here before, I promise this little thing goes all around this park selling the drinks, but I don't know what's going on today. Did I come here to make the freaking video and it's stuck there? Why? 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 What, what's going on? 24 hours later.
we are right now in a dim sum restaurant. Dim sum is kind of Chinese cuisine where they serve like small pieces of food. Most of them are steamed, some of them are fried, and it's very popular in southern China. Of course, the menu is only in Chinese. So when I was ordering, I saw the picture and said, oh, this looks delicious. I, I didn't understand what was the name. Guess why did I order? Pig feet. Pig feet. <laughs> oh my god, I feel really so stupid. But I just saw the picture and it looked so good. Now I'm so hungry and that was the very first dish they brought to the Chinese restaurant. They don't bring all dishes together. And I cannot eat because of course I'm allergic to pig feet. So I just decided to give a try to the pig feet. This is the very first time I'm gonna eat it. Oh my god, you, you have like all the bones, you have the skin. Okay, this is some meat here. Oh god. I can't eat. I don't want to. But I can eat this This is the meat. This is a robot that it will take the, all the food to the table. I think what they just do is just input the table number and then it will go to the right table. We have these little bunnies here. Uh, I think they are dessert or sweet. The pig feet, shrimp rolls, and these are shrimp dumplings. The little bunny. It looks so cute, oh my gosh. It's like I don't really want to eat it. Mm. There's a piece of fruit inside. In many ways, technology makes our lives easier and more convenient. I am sure this is just a sneak peek of what is about to come in China. It will be way easier finding a place with this interactive information stand that will not just tell you but also show you which direction you should go. Keys, cards and tokens are part of the past with a face recognition system like this to open the main gate and enter your building. I'm not sure if future is just about flying cars and teletransportation. Right now, I just believe future is about living a safer, more convenient and more energy efficient way. If you like the content of my channel, consider subscribing and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. I will be posting content every week, so if you have any suggestion of what you would like to see, just let me know in the comment below. And of course, remember, like the video. If you think there might be somebody else interested in this kind of content, please consider sharing.